What's going on guys? Just got the 2018 XPS 13, the 9370 model. Uh, we're going to do a quick unboxing for you. That's the notebook. Really excited about this. Let's see what else we got here. Got the power cord. Type A to Type C adapter. Power brick, really small, awesome Type C. And that's it. Get into the notebook here. Quick start guides there. Love the size of this thing. Beautiful. Outstanding. Do a quick overview of what uh what model I got. Oh, this thing is awesome. So, I'm going to give you guys a quick rundown of the model that I got. So, this is, again, the 2018 Refresh, the 9370, the 13-inch model. It's got the 13.3-inch 4K touch uh, EXO panel. Should get over 400 nits of brightness, which should be plenty. It's a 16 by 9 ratio. Um, should be really color accurate. Again, keyboard, backlit, your power button has your uh, fingerprint sensor in it there. Um, this is the silver model with the carbon fiber palm rest. There's a rose gold uh, with the white uh, palm rest. This better suits me. Uh, 8th generation Cabulate Refresh i7-8550U processor. It's got 16 gigs of DDR3 at 2133 megahertz. It's got the 512 gigabyte solid state drive. Should be plenty of storage. Um, goes all the way up to a terabyte if you need it. Um, it's got the killer 1435. That's the AC 2x2 Wi-Fi chip in it. Windows 10 Pro loaded up on it. Uh, give you the overview of the port selection you got here. So on the right side, you got a speaker, uh, micro SD type C headphone jack, nothing along the back, nothing along the front here. Around the left side, we got a, looks like a Noble Lock, two type C Thunderbolt, three ports, and your battery indicator. Looks like it's got a little bit of juice there. Uh, your Thunderbolt three ports here support the four lane PCI for your external GPU there if you want to run that on this um, should fully support that for you give you plenty of speed um, I'm uh, you know I, I got this I, I'm happy about the refresh they you know a lot of people would probably want some type A ports on here so not me um, everything that I use smartphone tablet you know whatever else now is type C and excited about moving forward with type c only products um micro sd slot again i'm not you know a professional uh photographer i'm not going to use full size sd the only cards that i have are micro sd in my phone or gopro so this works out you know great for me happy about that um only downside i could say probably potentially might be the battery size but I mean, when you guys look how slim this is, if this what you know, this is what you're looking for. I think a 52 watt hour 
battery should suffice. Um, again, you know, I, I do a YouTube video here and there, and by no means am I a professional at it. Um, I just try to review products or show, you know, show you another video on some products that I am interested in to hopefully help out some other guys out there that potentially might want to buy products or how to install them like my F-150 videos. Um, so yep, Type-C uh, charging looks like you can use any of the three ports to charge it, which is great. Um, it even gives you a little Type-A adapter here. Again, I probably won't need this because my external hard drive is Type-C. My phone's Type-C, so that's really, you know, I'm all set there. Um, but it's there if you need it um, for the guys that still have Type-A equipment. So other than that, really excited about it. I'm actually coming from this big guy over here. Bam, this is the um, this is an XPS 15 size comparison there. Um, this is an XPS 15 with the second generation uh, Core i7 in it. That's what I've been rocking and it's been awesome, you know. I just uh, upgraded the RAM and replaced the battery, so this thing's about six years old and still rocking it. That's why I went with the XBS line. I think it's, um, you know, th this model is definitely expensive. I, I believe I spent about $2,000 roughly on each one of them. Um, again, it was the latest and the greatest back then, and this is the latest and greatest Ultrabook, I think. Um, in this generation here, it just, you know, the profile is really spot on. Uh, I think you guys would really like it and appreciate the build quality. Love the aluminum. Love the carbon fiber palm rest. So really excited to get to use it. So um, hope this video helps some guys. If you are on the edge of uh, wanting to purchase this thing, just, you know, understand how small it is. And that's that's really what I wanted. I came from a 15.6 inch, um, and this is a 13.3 inch and in even smaller chassis here. Um, so that's all I really need. Like I said, I'm not a heavy um, uh, editor, I guess, or I don't I don't make a ton of uh, videos, or I don't play games on my laptop. So again, Ultrabook is going to suit my needs. So absolutely looking forward to it. Hope this video. Help some people out there. Good luck on your next purchase. Thanks.